Hello everyone, Game Crazy here in post commentary land. Ooh. Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 8. In the last episode, we beat Aquaman, the first boss I have ever beaten I ever beaten Mega Man 8. And we had quite a few screen problems. This episode we're probably also gonna have some screen problems. Although this one was prepared to be post commentary. So uh I have planned out my uh, bolts. I had. I think I said something about that on what parts I'd be getting. Uh, I don't know what I get now. Um, I think maybe I save up for high speed charge. I don't know. What do I do? Okay, yeah, I'm saving up for high speed charge, apparently, or something. Or maybe I need, wanted to do math really quick. Okay, he's sword man, not plain man. But uh, the fact that I get them confused tell you, tells you what he's weak to and what kind of weapon we're going to be getting. Both by the fact that his name is sword man and by the fact that I thought he was flame man for some reason. Anyways, Flame Man's got this cool Aztec wing. I kind of like it. And I don't know if someone was at the door. Fired something, but oh well. So each of these rooms has a little puzzle thing based on uh, the weapons that you got previously. You notice the crying person and then the eye in this room. The crying face in the previous room and the eye in this room. The puzzle is uh, in the next room there are going to be three buttons. We have the crying person, the eye, and the... Uh, actually that wasn't an eye. It's very tough to see them even with the flash bomb to be completely honest. I, I think I must have had my TV brightness up or something. But anyways, you just gotta make sure you hit the right combinations, and you can pass through easily. This room uses thunder foot shot. You have to hit those switches in order to stop the grinders. As you can see, this apparently really makes my capture card screw up. And there's a bolt right there, so get that real quick. I think I die here. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, that was in my practice room where I died in this room. Okay, so go through here. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to, as you can see, an ice looking thing. This puzzle is actually fairly easy. You just throw the ice and run with it. Here, same thing. Do I die in this room, maybe? No, that also happened in my practice file. Everything happens bad. Everything bad happens in the practice file, apparently. Last puzzle was kind of loosely for Tornado Hold. Uh, that's why I say loosely. Some of them you don't even need Tornado Hold. As you can see, this one we need to Tornado Hold the weird magnetic thingy up. And this room is really annoying if you have a uh, triple shot, so uh, it's also apparently glitching out, uh, yet again. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? I have no idea. Okay, I kind of caught up. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, what do I use to... No, oh, I just used the buster. That's... There we go. I think, uh, the thunder shot is also pretty good to use there to inch the thing along. If you're having troubles. Anyways, for beating all those, you get some health. You can jump over to that side, but there's absolutely nothing there. You gotta fall down the pit and face a boss. Yes, we're facing the stages with the two mini-bosses already. Uh, there are no mini-bosses in the other two stages we're going to be going to. 
This one just shoots a lot of fireballs. And it's pretty easy for now. I mean, we have this big platform to walk on. But eventually, once you do enough damage, the capture card will glitch out. And this guy comes and destroys your platform. Uh, when this happens, uh, this guy will also stay, and he's going to attack your platforms and make them sink into the lava. So you really have to be careful here. Uh, as you see, I beat him. Once you beat him, the other guy's not going to do anything. Be careful with that jump. I think you can still die and fall in the lava and then have to reface the boss. I've never done it, but just be careful. Uh, luckily, I think uh, my recordings after this, uh, I started using uh, OBS to record after this on my old computer, and that seemed to work fine. Uh, there's going to be a slight downgrade in FPS, but you're not going to have these weird glitches that are happening for some reason. This room, be very careful. Don't go so fast. Uh, kind of wait it out, because there are two lava pits. I've died a lot of the times when I rush. So I just wait. Uh, Where to go? Oh, okay. That that just skipped a lot. Uh, what you want to do in that room is go all the way to the right after both long pits come down. And then kind of go to the left slowly, making sure you don't fall into the spikes. Now here, there's something where you need flash bomb for, and you can get a bolt. That's how you get it. Come up here, and as you can see, we got lots of gold. We're rich, but we don't care about the gold. We actually only care about this bolt. So it puts us out here. This is, of course, right in front of the boss. And, uh... As you may or may not have guessed, I was actually focusing on the boss, so he wasn't too bad. I think I actually decided to challenge myself for a bit and not use his weakness. Then I just kind of get bored and use it. Or do I not use his weakness at all? But anyways, when he says fire slash, he's going to go over and separate his head. When he does that, he's going to do that. Oh god. Capture card glitching out. Jumps in the air and comes down. He's going to bring one of those weird Aztec head statue things crushing down on you. They hurt pretty bad, so avoid them. Uh, this, you can't do anything unless you use his weakness. So this is where I start using weakness. Just because he started using that stupid flame shield thing that he does. And we killed him with a water blade. Isn't that nice? So for being him, we get uh, a pretty cool weapon. It's actually fairly useful in the next stage. You definitely want to have it. You'll see why then. But luckily for me, that's the light commentary, so I just gotta put it together. Granted, I have to remember to edit out some parts, but who cares? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode where it's back to live game crazy as he was during break, I think. Yeah, I think this was during winter break. So, uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.